covering approximately 70.8% of the surface of Earth. The global ocean or the world ocean, is the most prominent feature of the planet Earth. Most of you may know that Earth has five main oceans, that are further divided in several seas and bays, but in fact, there is only one world ocean, one big water mass surrounding the seven continents, however, this ocean has been divided into five ocean basins, according to geographic location and these basins are commonly referred to as the five oceans. Earth total surface area is 510.1 million square kilometers of which the global ocean covers approximately 361 million square kilometers, which is 70.8% of the total surface area of Earth. The global ocean is nearly 9.5 times as big as the Earth's moon in terms of surface area, 4.8 times as big as Mercury, 2.5 times as big as Mars, and 21 times bigger in size than Russia. About 96.6% of all water on Earth is in our oceans, the volume of water in all the oceans together is approximately 1.335 billion cubic kilometers. And it has been estimated that there are 1.36 billion cubic kilometers of water on Earth. By volume, the oceans makes up 99% of the planet's living space. The largest space in our universe known to be inhabited by living organisms. Life on Earth first began in the ocean approximately 3.5 billion years ago. Today, the oceans are home to most of the planet's dominant forms of life. In fact, over 94% of all life on Earth is aquatic. World oceans contain somewhere between 500,000 and 10 million marine species. Accounting the fact that we have explored only 5% of the world's oceans, much of the biodiversity in the ocean, particularly in the deep ocean, is unknown, and more than 2,000 new species are discovered per year. Oceans accounts for 0.022% of the total weight of Earth, weighing an estimated 1.4 into 10 raised to 18 tons. The average depth of the oceans is about 3,688 meters or 12,100 feet. However, the depth of the oceans varies widely depending on the location of the tectonic plates, because only the first few hundred meters of the ocean is illuminated by the sun, and half the planet is constantly experiencing nighttime, up to 99% of the ocean is actually in complete darkness all the time. Water pressure at the deepest point in the ocean is more than 8 tons per square inch, the equivalent of one person trying to hold 50 jumbo jets. The top 10 meters of our oceans has the same mass as our entire atmosphere. The oceans store more heat in the uppermost 2.5 meters than our entire atmosphere. And the top 2.5 centimeters holds as much water that is in our atmosphere. The oceans also stores 38,000 gigatons of carbon which is 16 times more than the entire terrestrial biosphere. The ocean is our life support system as the ocean regulates our climate absorbs the dangerous carbon dioxide, and generates the oxygen we need to breathe, and is home to millions of Earth's plants and animals, from tiny single-celled organisms to the enormous blue whale. Nearly 2.4 billion people or about 40% of the world's population live within 100 kilometers of the coast from major oceans. When the Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago, no liquid water was present anywhere on Earth. There were no oceans, there was no oxygen in the atmosphere, and no life. But there were violent collisions, explosions, and eruptions. In fact, the Earth in its earliest stage was molten. This allowed elements to separate into layers within the Earth. Gravity pulled denser elements toward the Earth's center, while less dense materials accumulated near the surface. This process of separation created the layers of the Earth as we know them today. As temperatures cooled, the surface solidified, and an atmosphere was created. Volcanic eruptions released water vapor from the Earth's crust, while more water came from asteroids and comets that collided with the Earth. As the Earth cooled off, the water vapor condensed and rained back down onto the surface of the Earth for millions of years, forming the ocean we know today. Now let's go through some basic facts about the five main oceans. The Pacific Ocean with an area of 168,723,000 square kilometers, the Pacific Ocean is the world's largest ocean. 
The Pacific Ocean is located west of North and South America, and east of Asia and Australia. Pacific Ocean makes up about 32% of the Earth's total surface area and represents 46% of the water surface area. The Pacific Ocean surface area is greater than that of Mars, and it's big enough to fit all seven continents. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest of the world's five oceans, with an area of about 85,133,000 square kilometers. The Atlantic Ocean borders four continents, Africa, Europe, North America and South America, and is divided into two parts, the North Atlantic Ocean and the South Atlantic Ocean. The Indian Ocean is the third largest of the world's five oceanic divisions, covering 70,500,000 square kilometers, covering 20% of the total water surface area of Earth. Indian Ocean is located between Africa and Australasia and the Antarctic Ocean. The Antarctic Ocean is the world's fourth largest body of water. It encircles Antarctica and is actually divided among the Atlantic, Indian, and the Pacific Ocean and has an area of 21,960,000 square kilometers. The Arctic Ocean is the smallest of the world's five major oceans. It is located in the Northern Hemisphere and is almost completely surrounded by North America and Eurasia. It spans an area of approximately 15,558,000 square kilometers, covering just over 3% of the Earth's total surface area. Arctic Ocean is 1.5 times the size of the United States of America and is smaller than Russia. Now let's see some awesome facts about our oceans that you should know. The deepest point on Earth. Mariana Trench, located in the Pacific Ocean contains the deepest point on Earth. The place is known as the Challenger Deep, which lies beneath the western Pacific Ocean, in the southern end of the Mariana Trench. At its greatest depth of 36,200 feet or 11 kilometers, the trench is so deep that you could fit all of Mount Everest inside, and its peak would still be underwater by more than 2 kilometers. The Mariana Trench can accommodate 25 Empire State Buildings, each standing one on top of another. The largest and longest mountain range in the world. The Mid-Oceanic Mountain Range is the largest and longest mountain range in the world and it is actually located under the ocean, stretching nearly 65,000 kilometers, rising above the surface in a few places, such as Iceland. It is four times longer than the Andes, Rocky Mountains, and Himalayas combined. Gold in the Oceans It has been estimated that there are about 20 million tons of diluted gold throughout our oceans. If all the gold suspended in the world seawater were mined, each person on Earth could have about 9 pounds of gold. But there is a problem to deal with, gold in the ocean is so dilute, that its concentration is very small, even if you diluted 1 liter of water, you would get 13 billionth of a gram according to latest scientific estimates. Salt in the Oceans On average, there is approximately 35 grams of salt per kilogram of seawater, if the ocean's total salt content were dried, it would cover all the continents of Earth to a depth of 500 feet. The Ring of Fire The Ring of Fire is possibly the most geologically active zone on Earth. 90% of the world's most powerful volcanic eruptions and 80% of the largest earthquakes on Earth are found in this region. Currently, there are over 400 active and dormant volcanoes along the Ring of Fire. The region extends for over 40,000 kilometers. Countries like Japan, Indonesia and New Zealand are almost entirely covered by the Ring of Fire. Pollution in the Oceans More than 8 million tons of plastic enter the oceans each year, equal to dumping a garbage truck of plastic every minute. As much as 80% of all litter in our oceans is made of plastic. As many as 51 trillion microplastic particles litter our oceans and seas, seriously threatening marine wildlife. According to some estimates, at the rate we are polluting the ocean, by 2050, oceans will carry more plastic mass than fish. Plastic waste kills up to 1 million sea birds, 100,000 sea mammals, marine turtles and countless fish each year. 
The tiny phytoplankton that lives in the oceans provide over 50% of our oxygen, and due to pollution many ocean areas are already dead zones, where they cannot survive. There are actually over 500 dead zones across our globe, that cover a bigger area than the land area of the United Kingdom, mainly due to pollution.